This is a tutorial on how to use Linkios on Mac to process the Orion Nebula. And the first thing we want is to know where, where all of our pictures are. So I have all of my pictures. I have light frames and dark frames in the same folder. And you can separate them out in different folders if you like. It doesn't matter as long as you know where they are. So with Linkios open, the first thing we want to do is add our light frames. So we're going to go down here to this plus button and select where we want our light frames are to be. So I'm going to select all of my light frames. And right now I have them as JPEGs. Linkios does accept them as raw, but I find that on my computer it oftentimes crashes if I'm using too many photos or the processing takes too long. And then we click open and it's going to process those photos and add them in. And here we have all of these. The next thing we want to do is add our dark frames. So you're going to click image, add dark frames, and then go through the same process. And if you have flat frames, you can add those as well, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to be using those. Our next step is to stack all of our dark frames. So once we have all of them, we're going to click stack here. And if you wanted to select just a particular region of the photo, you can do that. But as long as your photos, your dark frames are the same size as your light frames, that doesn't matter. And you can just click stack. So it's going to go through that and it's going to stack all of the dark frames. And here we can see that my frames have a lot of noise. Our next step is to go to our light frames. And it might seem like there's nothing there, but that's because we're selected as stack and we want to select list. The next thing we want to do is we want to align our photos. So go to the align tab, select one photo that you like, and highlight the section of Orion. It'll use this to align all the other photos. Once you're ready, click Align. And it'll be going through that process, and the photos will turn green once they've already aligned. And once they're all done, it'll stop, and it'll show you here at how much it had to move all the photos to get it to align. Our next step is to analyze the photos, and click Analyze here. What we want to do is we want to select a portion of Orion that it can analyze the quality of all the photos. So I'm going to select these four stars here so it can analyze the quality on those and click Analyze. And down here it'll give you a range of what photos you have and what the quality of those photos are. So my lowest quality photo is 3.2 and my highest quality photo is 4.4 or 4.04. So we can see here we have a 4.3 here and sometimes as you can see this is a 4.04 which is supposed to be higher than a 4.03 but the quality is not that great. And uh, if we were to look for a And if we were to look for a low quality one such as this, it'll, it'll select it there. Sometimes the quality doesn't work out too well, um, but I usually do cut off some of the bottom ones arbitrarily. If I didn't have that many photos, I can go through them manually and select ones I didn't like. But I already know that my list of Orion photos aren't that great because my polar alignment wasn't particularly accurate. But I'm fine with uh, selecting the first 151, the top 151 images. Our next step is to actually stack the images. And if you wanted to crop your photo, this is where you can select an ending crop. And I actually do want to crop my photo, so I'm just going to select this portion of Orion here. And if you wanted the whole the whole photo, you can select the whole the whole photo. Once I'm ready, I'm going to click stack, and then it's going to stack all these photos and and subtract the dark frames. And with this stack done, you can analyze the photo here. And you have the option of changing some of your levels and gamma, but I usually do this in my preferred processing software. The final step is to save the image. So I go File, Save Image. 
name it and select where you want to save it and click save. I'm going to cancel this because I'm not actually going to save it. And if you want, you can also save this Linkio sequence so you can open it up later on and change any settings if you want. And that's it. That's how you use Linkios to stack the Orion Nebula on Mac. Thanks for watching.